Welcome to Tokyo Saurus. So, what's up in Japan? The Ghost in the Shell live action film has just been released in the States, but the initial box office results c o m e s up to be only 18.7 million in the first few days, falling short of many people's expectations. It was reported that the film costed over 250 million to produce, including worldwide advertising, and even if we include international box office, the total gross profit is only at 73 million so far. It didn't help with the bad reputation that live action adaptations have had in the past, and with the controversy regarding the whitewashing of Major Kusanagi, it had a bad start at all fronts. It seemed like they had a hard time staying loyal to source material while trying to make something that appeals to a mass audience, and it was probably trying to juggle all of it that led to this mixed response by the audience. I think they would actually have had a better chance at making a successful movie if they worked on a smaller budget and actually hired an Asian actor to play Major Kusanagi, who's actually Japanese, because one of the biggest reasons why we see whitewashing of these adaptations is because of money. If people are going to invest into making a movie, they're going to want the best actors they can afford with the highest chance of financial success. In this case, Ghost in the Shell was a pretty big production and had access to all these A list actors, and currently, the A list has no Asians in it. The more money is involved, the less risk people are willing to take, and thus we see a lot of safe choices that don't exactly translate well into live action adaptations. And that is why I would have preferred a production on a much smaller scale, with a much smaller budget, and maybe we won't see as much pretty CGI, but as we've seen with Deadpool with a budget of 58 million, grossing 780 million, it can be done. Even though reviews have been pretty bad across the board so far, it has not been released yet in Japan. I'm pretty curious to see the response it will get from Japanese fans, but I guess that will have to wait until it's released this Friday over there. But it is not all gloom and doom for Ghost in the Shell, as a new Ghost in the Shell anime has just been announced by Production IG, who made the original series, and the director for Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex will be co directing it, so needless to say, we are in good hands. We don't exactly know if it'll be a continuation of Standalone Complex or something completely new, but in September of 2016, he did respond to a Twitter question about the third season to Standalone Complex, with, I will report about this in the near future. Look forward to it. So, does this mean this announcement is for Standalone Complex Season 3? It's looking like it, but there's no confirmation yet. So, stay tuned for more information as it is released in the coming months. Did you watch the new Ghost in the Shell film? And what do you want to see in the next Ghost in the Shell anime? As usual, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to follow Tokyo Source on social media for Japanese culture tweets and video updates. And subscribe to Tokyo Source if you haven't already for the latest things people are talking about in Japan. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.